Hello everybody, thank you so much for being here. So today I'm gonna to be doing a Disney World pre-vacation haul. We are flying to Disney World in four days and I can't, I can't even believe it. This trip crept up on us very last minute. We have been so consumed, my husband and I, with planning our wedding. We actually had our wedding last weekend. So we've been so consumed with planning that that we just really had no mental or physical capacity to plan or to really soak in that we are going to Disney World. But we are leaving in four days. We are so excited. This trip is going to be the longest we've ever stayed on Disney property. We are going for 10 days. It's going to be just myself, my husband, and our five-year-old daughter. We are going to be staying at the Beach Club Resort, which we are so excited about. We've never stayed there before. It is a dream resort for all of us and we are just so excited. My daughter has been talking non-stop about how she's so excited to stay at Beach Club, to go to their pool. Their pool looks amazing. I hear such good things. And I'm really excited about being walking distance to not only Hollywood Studios, but a five minute walk into the World Showcase. I mean, that is just gonna be amazing. So like all my other Disney World pre-vacation hauls, I'm going to be showing you everything that I picked up in preparation for this trip. I have some clothing, I have some travel accessories, I usually have a mix of a bunch of stuff. I don't have as much as I usually do because we were just in Disney World this past June. So if you want to check out that pre-vacation haul, I will link it in a card above. That haul was very, very big because it was our first big vacation since the pandemic and we had so many things to buy. So this haul is not as large as my others, but knowing myself, we'll still be here for a little while. So get cozy, go get yourself a drink. I just have my water here and let's go ahead and get started. Move on to the first bag here. I popped into Target just to pick up some travel, toiletries, things like that. My husband grabbed some Harry's body wash, some Edge um, shaving cream. He also grabbed some head and shoulders. I grabbed a little mini sunscreen to keep in my park bag. I also got my Nivea lotion. And then I got a couple of empty containers. I got a little squeeze bottle for body wash and then a little like cosmetic jar that I can put my sugar scrub in. I also grabbed a fresh pack of water wipes. These are my favorite wipes to carry with me into the parks because they are 99.9% .9 water with a drop of fruit extract. So they're very gentle. So I use these to wipe my daughter's face, to wipe our hands. Um, very, very gentle and good for young kids. So I grabbed that. And the final thing I grabbed from Target was just some allergy relief. My allergies have been crazy lately and I want to make sure that I'm not dealing with that on our trip. So I got a little bottle of allergy relief. We popped into Bed Bath & Beyond and I grabbed firstly a pack of scrunchies for my daughter. My daughter for the first time in years is allowing me to put her hair in ponytails. Before she would only let me leave her hair down but she has very long hair now. So I got her a bunch of new colors for our trip. I also grabbed this pack of two pop-up hampers. We're going to be staying so long at Disney World that I know that we're gonna be needing to do laundry at least once. We stayed for seven days in June. I felt like we were getting to the point where we needed to do laundry. So I wanna bring a hamper with, that way we can take our dirty clothes to and from the hotel room easily and I'll have a place to actually keep our dirty clothes in as opposed to keeping them on the floor. I also grabbed a couple of hair ties for me. I always love picking up new ones before I go on a trip. So I grabbed a three pack of Invisibobble. This is my favorite company. Of hair ties but then I also picked up this pack of four black ones and these are from Kiddish I hope I'm saying that right I also picked up this petunia pickle bottom Disney baby Mickey stroller hook now I already have one of these I have the black one that I've had for years and I love hooking these onto our stroller because they're great for not only our Disney reusable mugs but we hang our popcorn bucket on it any shopping bags that we have really anything that we don't you know want to shove into the under basket of our stroller so I've been wanting the rose gold one and it's been sold out for literally forever and they finally had it in stock. I actually picked this up from The Sensible Mama, which is one of my favorite small shops to support. So I grabbed that from her site. 
thought that was super cute. So I'm gonna be putting that onto our stroller when we're at Disney World. Also from The Sensible Mama, I picked up this makeup train case from Petunia. Now, I have been eyeballing this for a while and decided to just go ahead and grab it because the makeup case I bring with me on our trips is like a hard case and I love it because it keeps my makeup organized but it's really really bulky and it's heavy so I wanted to maybe upgrade my makeup traveling case and I thought this was a really pretty print it is from their new Beauty and the Beast collection they have I think three prints total in this collection this is the Belle Pop Art print and I just thought it was really fun and very graphic I'm very attracted to more graphic prints and I just thought it was really pretty. I love how it's muted with black and white but there's some pops of color so you can see the Beast, Belle, Chip, all the characters are really on there. That's what the back looks like and this is much bigger in person than I thought it was going to be which is great. It's really pretty kind of peachy pink print with Chip all over there. You get a zipper pocket right there and then on the inside, you get a bunch of interior pockets that sort of circle the inside of the bag. So I just thought this would be a really great solution for all of my makeup and beauty products for our trip. So I got that from, again, The Sensible Mama. I will leave not only her shop down below, but a coupon code if you want to save some money on your order. My daughter needed a new pair of slip on sandals because our dog unfortunately chewed up the pair that she had so we got her um a pair of these crocs we ordered these off of amazon i like that they were adjustable so i can make them looser or make them tighter for her and i love this material because it's great for you know being by the pool going to the beach they're very very waterproof yet they're very comfy to wear just walking around so we got her those from crocs also from amazon i picked up a very large bag of face masks for my husband these are just disposable face masks and on our last trip my husband and i and our daughter wore mostly disposable masks when we were into the parks we found them to be just a lot more comfortable and just easier in general because we didn't have to worry about washing our fabric masks and things like that i did bring some with but for the most part we wore disposables so i just grabbed a large pack of gray my husband likes gray i like gray and they'll go good with everything i do still have to order my daughter um some for herself but um big old bag for my husband and i okay so i have a lot of clothing here i didn't, <laughs> didn't realize i bought this i first got my daughter these super cute like pull-on elastic shorts from zara and they have mickey mouse all over them super cute i thought these would be just adorable with like a little white t-shirt or a tank top or whatever so I got her those. I also got her this t-shirt from Old Navy and I thought it was adorable. It says Coco and has all of the characters from Coco on there. I thought this would be a really cute shirt for her to wear to Epcot one day. I also picked up a couple t-shirts for me from JCPenney. They actually had a great selection of Disney graphic tees for men, but they're more unisex size and I prefer to wear unisex t-shirts when I go into the parks. So I firstly grabbed this one. Now I didn't know if my husband would want to wear this or I would wear it. And then this one I just could not leave behind. I love a goofy movie. It's one of my favorite Disney movies. I love Powerline. I also picked up a pair of shorts from Abercrombie and Fitch. I haven't shopped at Abercrombie and Fitch since I was in college, like my early 20s. I actually worked there for a long time when I was in high school and college, um, but I'm, I haven't gone into any of their stores since I quit, which was a long time ago. But I've been seeing a lot of people talking about how good their denim is now. So I just stopped in one day when I was shopping and decided to try one of their shorts. These are the high rise high rise shorts and I love that these were cuffed but that they're also stitched down a lot of times cuffed shorts kind of fold down you have to iron them and press them so that they stay up these are stitched so I don't have to worry about that very very cute very very flattering very impressed so I got those from Abercrombie like our last trip I decided to make my daughter some t-shirts for our trip using our Cricut machine I made her this one which says reach for the sky 
which is a reference from Toy Story. We were unfortunately unable to go to Hollywood Studios on our last trip because there were no more park reservations for there, but we're gonna be going twice on this upcoming trip. So I wanted to make her a couple shirts for Hollywood Studios. So I made her that one, and then I also made her this one. This is my favorite. It says, the sass is strong in this one. And then I also made her this one, which says, future Imagineer which I thought was very cute. So those are all the shirts that I made her. I purchased her a dress from Gussy Up Boco, which is a company that I have purchased hair accessories for her from. But they recently came out with a Disney collection, and a part of that collection was this really cute dress for pre-order. So I went ahead and pre-ordered it. Fingers crossed that it would get delivered in time for a trip, and it came, and it's just, it's adorable. So as you can see, it has tons of Magic Kingdom icons all over there. There's the castle, uh, Dumbo, Mickey pretzels, the carousel, a Mickey hat, just tons and tons of stuff. It's so soft and kind of slinky and stretchy in a way. Adorable. I cannot wait to take a photo of her wearing this in front of the castle. In addition, I also purchased a bunch of hair accessories from Gussie Up for her as well for this trip because they just had so many cute options for Disney. So I firstly got her this pack of hair clips. My daughter loves these little hair clips just to pin back her bangs. So I thought these were adorable. It has Mickey, Minnie, Dumbo, and Donald and Daisy. And then I also got her this set of two little mini mini hair bows. And then I got her two of these adorable silk scrunchies so they're just a simple scrunchie but they have a cute little bow on there so when you put your child's hair up in a ponytail the bow just kind of sticks out and I thought that'd be really really cute so I got her a black one and then a red one keeping with the hair accessories I also got her this bow from loved baby bows I wanted to find her a Star Wars baby Yoda bow to wear with the shirt I made her so I thought this one was adorable. So it just has a little baby Yoda on there. Super cute, would be really cute for just a little high pony. So I got her that hair accessory. My daughter is really into bows and all that stuff, so I'm always happy to buy her new ones. And then I also placed an order with Morgan Austin Bows. Decided to find that. And then I also got her just a cute little simple Halloween glitter. I don't know if I'm going to be bringing this with on our trip, but I might. Um, so I grabbed those from Morgan Austin Bows. Oh, there's also a toothpaste in here at the bottom of my bag. I also got this set of packing cubes from Eagle Creek. Now I wanted to try these out. I've heard very good things and I wanted to try them out for this upcoming trip. So you get three sizes. You get a large, a medium, and then this really cute little small one. Adorable. They're very, very flexible, yet they're thin. And yeah, I just heard a lot of good things about this. This is organized clothing within travel, PVC free, washable, and water repellent. Yeah, so usually what I like to do with the smaller packing cubes is keep them in my carry-on and or my backpack that I bring with me on the airplane. And since these are a great size, they'll definitely fit in both of those. So I've got those and again, very excited to try those out. I picked up this really cute hand sanitizer holder from Mama Doodle. I purchased this off of her live Instagram sale. So this is what it looks like. It's a little Steamboat Willie hand sanitizer holder. And what I like the most about this is that it fits Bath & Body Works pocket bag hand sanitizer bottles, which are the ones that I typically carry with me when I go out. So I thought this would be really cute to clip to my park bag. So of course, since I'm going to Disney, I had to pick up a couple new coffee cozies. Drinking coffee is a big part of me going into the parks. I just, I love getting coffee, getting Joffrey's in particular, and just drinking and people watching while we walk through the parks. So I picked up a couple new cozies from Once Upon a Cozy, which is my favorite cozy company. I'm actually a brand rep for this company, so of course, not only will I link the shop down below, but I will leave a coupon code down below for you guys to save some money on your purchase. So I firstly picked up this Animal Kingdom cozy. I love this cozy. I love the dark forest green. 
So you can see it has the Tree of Life right there. And then I got a little Mickey Safari hat on there, but you can choose Minnie if you want Minnie instead. But I just thought that was so cute. I can't wait to take a photo of my coffee in front of the Tree of Life with this. And then I also got this Ratatouille one. I'm sure you guys all know that the Ratatouille ride is opening very soon. I think it's opening in a couple days and we're so excited to check out that ride. Hopefully we can get on it on this trip and we're also going to be there for the food and wine festival and Remy is sort of the unofficial like spokes model for the food and wine festival. So I wanted to get a cozy that I can use while we walk around the world showcase. Um, I didn't even realize this sunlight was on me like that. Sorry guys, just ignore that sunlight right there. Um, but it says anyone can cook and it's the sign that hangs outside of the restaurant at the very end of the movie and it's on a sparkly gray cozy super cute i love this of course i had to pick up a couple of ears i didn't buy too many for this trip because if i'm going to be honest here i have a lot of ears already and don't really need any more but i wanted to pick up a couple i firstly got this one for my daughter i actually picked this up from target i was at a target that had a disney store pop-up inside of it and i actually found these in the clearance section for $3.99 i placed an order with mini castle which is a company that i discovered on instagram and what drew me to the company was they had tons of selections of color options, fabric choices, character specific ears, and the price point was very reasonable. I think these were around $12 or $14 each, which is very affordable. The most affordable ears I've ever purchased. But I wanted to check them out. The reviews were really, really great. And I just wasn't looking to spend a ton of money on ears for this trip. I, I just wasn't. Usually I'm all for, you know, investing in a good pair of ears and everything. But I just, I wasn't up for this trip. I wanted to try a more affordable company. So I firstly grabbed these, which are a sort of nude beige velvet ear. And I opted for a burgundy bow in the middle and I just thought these would be really really great for the food and wine festival I love how simple and neutral they are but I love that burgundy color burgundy is like one of my favorite colors it's one of the colors we used for our wedding I just I love it and the headband is very thin very lightweight and comfortable but they don't feel too delicate like they don't feel like they're gonna fall apart and break I will probably be able to wear these all day I'm gonna continue to wear them for the rest of the video um, and then I also got a white sequin pair of ears. This trip that we're going on is like our honeymoon-ish vacation. Um, we're not taking a traditional honeymoon. We just decided to do a family vacation, but it is to celebrate our marriage and everything. So I wanted to get a bridal feel pair of ears and I just thought a simple pair of white sequin ears would be very appropriate. So I grabbed those as well. Final things I have to show you are all of the shirts that I got and having them all sitting here in front of me, I didn't realize I bought this many shirts, but we're gonna be there for 10 days. So I have plenty of days to wear these shirts and I typically do an outfit change midday. So that's okay. So the first shirts I have here are from The Lost Bros. Now, if you guys are on Instagram or you follow Disney accounts, I'm sure you've heard of The Lost Bros. They are, I would say one of the most popular Disney t-shirt companies on social media right now this one in particular i'm so excited for because it was sold out and i got on the notifications to be notified when it came back in stock and i'm so glad it came back in stock for this particular trip because i wanted it for this particular trip so it says greetings from crescent lake and it has all of the resorts that surround crescent lake including epcot and like I said, we're staying at Beach Club, which is why I wanted this shirt. I cannot wait to wear this and get a photo on the boardwalk. I just think it's it's gonna be perfect. And it's so soft, so I got that one. And then I also got this one, which I think again was a restock or something like that. But it says Four Parks Tour. And it has all of the dates where each park of when each park opened. And I just love, again, like the graphic element of this shirt. It kind of looks like a band t-shirt. Very, very cute. I think it'll be really cute with denim shorts and my black vans. I also purchased a shirt from Hi Ho Design Co., which is one of my favorite t-shirt companies. I've mentioned them many times on both my Instagram and on this channel. 
so I had to do a little adjusting to avoid that light. <laughs> but I purchased this t-shirt, which has their logo on the front. All of their shirts are printed on comfort color tees, and they have their logo printed on the front pocket. And then on the back, it says, feel your heartbeat faster, reach out and find your happily ever after. The happily ever after fireworks show is ending. I believe it's ending within the next couple days. I love that show. I'm very disappointed that it's ending, but I'm really excited to see the new show that they are starting for the 50th anniversary. But I saw this shirt and thought it was perfect. And I love the colors that they use because the colors are very similar to the colors that are used on all of the new 50th merch and decorations and stuff like that, very much in line with that. So I thought it would also work well with the anniversary. The rest of the shirts I have here are all from companies and small shops that I have never tried before. So the first, the first company is the Blonde Ruby. Again, a company I constantly see on Instagram. And her shop in particular creates Disney designs that are embroidered. So she does embroider t-shirts. I think there's jackets and raincoats and things like that. But I went ahead and grabbed this one. And all of the shirts are monograms. So you can get your monogram printed on there. And I opted for the wedding Mickey ring, or it could be a mini ring, either one, wedding ring t-shirt. Because like I said, we're going to celebrate our wedding. And I thought these would go very cute together. So that is from the Blonde Ruby. I also placed an order with a company called The Pixie Place. I discovered this shop on Instagram and I wanted to find a shirt that I can wear to not only Epcot, but a shirt that had a reference to Remy or Ratatouille on there with both the opening of the Ratatouille ride and you know, it being the food and wine festival, I wanted a Remy shirt. So I saw this one and thought it was perfect. So it's a little hard to see, but it says Little Chef. And then you can see Remy in the middle, which I thought was really cute. I love the colors on here. I thought it would go very well with these ears. That was kind of my idea behind it, but very cute shirt. I'm definitely gonna be getting a photo of me in front of the large Remy statue topiary they have right now. Very cute shirt. So again, that is from the Pixie Place. Here's her card. Adorable colors, adorable logo. I also found this shop on Etsy and her shop is called Belvedere the Second. Tons, tons of cute Disney designs. She has hats. I think she even might have some decals and keychains and things like that. Ton like so many cute shirts. So I wanted to get a shirt for Galaxy's Edge since we've never been there before and I'm very excited to check it out. I wouldn't consider myself like a huge Star Wars fan really at all. I mean, I enjoy the movies when I watch them, but I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. But I will say that I think Baby Yoda is adorable. I saw this one and just loved the colors. I love purples and pinks. It has Baby Yoda right there and it says, this is the way. Really, really adorable design. The final shirt I have here is from Circa Society. Circa Society is a Instagram account that I have seen many times. I actually follow her on Instagram and have never purchased a shirt because I've never been lucky enough to get one of her shirts because whenever she has a drop, they sell out almost immediately. So I've never been able to get my hands on one of her designs. And I saw that for Disney's anniversary, she was doing a Disney anniversary and the greatest showman collaboration. So I would definitely wanted to grab one of these shirts because not only do I love Disney, but I love I love The Greatest Showman. So she had four shirts total, and I was gonna get all four, but I decided to just get one. I have to say that her presentation and packaging was incredible. It came in an adorable envelope, which I ended up not keeping, but everything was wrapped beautifully. All of her pamphlets inside and cards are just really great quality, and I just, I, I love when companies pay attention to detail like that. Her her packaging was just amazing. I did take photos of it, which I will, I'll put some photos in here because I took photos as I opened it because it just was so pretty. But here is her card. It did come with this print, which I thought was really, really pretty. So it has the statue of Walt and Mickey, and then it has the 50th castle behind. And then on the back it has 
the quote, which, which is also on the shirt, which I will show you, but it says, every night he'd lie in bed, the brightest colors filled his head, a million dreams were keeping him awake. So again, a reference to The Greatest Showman and Walt, which I thought was really, really special. So, and she also included this free gift, which was a sticker. And she actually had this printed on one of her shirts for the collection. I was actually gonna purchase this shirt, so I'm kind of glad I got this sticker instead because it actually makes a really cute sticker. But it's a vintage map of Magic Kingdom. And all around the map, it has just some quotes from The Greatest Showman, A Million Dreams song. Very, very cute. So this is the shirt that I chose. It's on a oatmeal sort of cream color. And it says, The Greatest Dreamer, established 1971. And then on the back, it has not only the castle in the background, but it has that quote from A Million Dreams, which has been sort of altered to include Walt in there as well. Absolutely love this shirt. And again, just the experience of purchasing from this company. And this was a pre-order that I made with her shop. The packaging, the shipping time and everything, it just, it was great. So I definitely want to continue to support this shop. I will link her shop down below. So that is everything I have to show you today. That's everything that I purchased for our Disney vacation. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And again, I will be sure to link everything that I can find down below along with coupon codes. If I have coupon codes for any of these shops or companies. And if you want to keep up with me and my trip, I will leave my Disney Instagram down below. I definitely will be highlighting our trip, showing you things along the way. So if you want to see highlights from our trip, I highly suggest you following me there. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I will talk to all of you later. Bye.